guys, this is Brian over at Obedia and I'm going to show you how to convert, quickly convert a uh, audio file in Cubase to a new sample rate in order to make it work with your project. So I've got this project here that I'm working on and the settings on it are pretty much your normal settings, 44.1 kilohertz on the sample rate, 16-bit uh, on the record format. But I've imported some audio that I've got that is at a much higher sample rate than that, and it sounds a little bit weird. Now, it's supposed to be very different from that sound, and so what I need to do is I need to convert this in order to make it match my project settings. And it's not a very hard thing for me to do. All I need to do is open up the audio pool in Cubase. I can do that by holding down the Apple key on Mac or the Control key on PC and hitting the P key. That's going to open up my audio pool and here I get control over all of the audio that I've recorded or imported into my project. So you're going to notice that I have the audio file right here and on its information it says pretty clearly on it that it is a 96 kilohertz 32-bit file. So that's a little bit much for this project, so I'm going to go ahead and convert it. I'm going to right-click on it, and I'm going to go ahead and click Convert Files. Now the Convert Options box is going to show up, and here I can choose my sample rate, and I'm going to go ahead and downsample this to 44.1 kilohertz. I'm going to go ahead and change the sample width down to 16-bit. And then I can go ahead and leave the number of channels because I want to keep this as a stereo file. And I can leave the file format. I don't really need to change what format is it's in. But the one thing that I do want to go ahead and change is the options. And I'm, I have a few options here. One is new files, replace files, and I have new plus replace in pool. I'm going to go ahead and do new, new plus replace in pool. The good thing about this is that it'll make a new file and it will also replace the one that I'm converting in my pool and therefore it'll update it anywhere else in the project. So when I'm all done with that and I've got everything set, all I need to do is hit OK to start the conversion. Cubase will tell me that uh, there's no undo and that's OK. I'm going to hit proceed. And that's going to begin converting. So when the conversion is all done, you'll notice that now the file has been updated and it's information right here. It's now 44.1 kilohertz and 16-bit. And it's been replaced in my pool, so I can close up my pool. And now the file is going to play back in the exact sound that I need to play back as. And that's it. You can do that for as many files as you need to. You can also select multiple files and do that to them in the pool. And this will allow you to keep working in Cubase while, without having to convert in another program. And it will let you quickly convert files that you need to use in a project on the fly. I hope this helps you guys, and I'll be seeing you soon.